Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Eyes on a Munch Eye. And we will continue on the same theme as I had for the last couple of episodes and that is about what affiliate tells you or net not tells you. Uh, this time we I call it that they might praise the paint job but have they looked under the hood and as you know from my earlier presentations uh, in 99.99 percent .99 of cases they have haven't looked under the hood and the product we are going to talk about today is something called pixel armor ai and we are going to look uh, under the hood of that program and it's actually three programs in one the Product number three is Pixel Armor AI security plugin, and that has given the name uh, and a sort of uh, theme for this, uh, this product. The, you should sell security to site owners uh, who uh, maybe doesn't have security enough of on their WordPress sites. But I will tell you why this uh, plugin might not be the very best for that. So if we um, then look at the other parts of this program. We have the we have the lead finder with an SAAS software on, online, which is in principle a standard uh, lead finder, and it doesn't give you more much uh, checkpoints for sites. Uh, Here is a little bit paradox because if you have a good security, if if the site has a good secure program. The lead finder will not pick up any flaws, or, or is it difficult to pick up any flaws? Uh, so you have to do it manually in any case. Product number two is a site builder, which takes uh, and it actually sort of does use AI to create uh, niche sites, but um, it, um, it's also quite primitive. And what is my main point about this that product two, the site builder, and product three, the security plugin are outdated already from start so uh, and I will show you exactly how that works uh, there are also some things on the sales page of course which uh, sales page of course promise a lot but as I said under the hood it is not that very bright and there are a couple of things here I would like to say which are quite misleading and that is about the AI creation of uh, uh, AI content, AI videos and AI images. Yes, AI content, yes, it, it does produce some of, uh, using chat GPT, you have to add your uh, open AI, AI uh, your own, but uh, and it, it does some very primitive prompting. I don't think they spent too much time to tweak the prompt uh, in the in the uh, admin area or in the back end but when it comes but it is still it's AI generated uh, but the AI videos and AI images is nothing else than pixel images so it's nothing to do with AI except maybe that they are using AI in, in searching for the current videos and images but that's it you, you put your keywords and then then uh, you get some videos and images to choose among which you can load into the media library of your site uh, so and the SEO is also s uh, the same as using a chat GPT uh, variant, uh, probably with some tweaking uh, of the prompt before it gives you the result. So that is clearly misleading, and also in the in the demo videos and in the in the, well, you can see it if you look at the webinars. You can see that this this is not AI v uh, and AI images generated by AI. It's found by IA, maybe. So that's about it. And then, if we take a look, just on the a quick look on the inside of the membership area, you have the local uh, lead finder or the local business leads. And as I said, this is not. 100% sure. So you have to, you find the businesses, you maybe find contact persons, or phone number and email addresses, but you still have to check very carefully the information because in many cases this doesn't show all the flaws that you want to discover because they maybe already have a very good security. So that leads, leads us to the, to the download and there are 
two downloads is the theme, the Moto AI theme, and the security plugin. And now let's look. I should all say a little bit about documentation. It's it's well documented everything. You have uh, thorough documentation for the theme, and you have quite thorough documentation for the security plugin. The, and you have tutorials, so it, the documentation is good, but it doesn't help really much to um, operate a program as an agency. So. Let's uh, look at the f motor AI theme, and that is actually a theme that was a product that was launched uh, in June 15, 2023, which is uh, a development of something called Motorcom, and which in, in its tone is a development of the motor themes, which has been going on for several several years. And to be honest, the uh, uh, templates are uh, very much the same as in Motorcom. Uh, so it's it's really not the, the most modern and what is maybe even more significant is that the motor AI uses the VP Bakery page builder which is uh, by itself not the most modern because it doesn't use Gutenberg blocks so it's uh, it, it really can't be used for full site editing for example even if it's a, by itself is a sort of full site editing but it, if you want to learn a new WordPress uh, page builder I wouldn't recommend that you start to learn something that is built for older versions of WordPress I would rather recommend you to start to embrace the Gutenberg plugins or the Gutenberg blocks uh, build full site editing or uh, hybrid like uh, Cadence or but. So th there are a lot of hybrid themes where you still uh, have to uh, s separate area for creation of headers and footers, but uh, all the rest of the page are built by Gutenberg blocks. I would much rather encourage you to take that route than to um, to tie yourself up to VP Bakery. And as you can see, the version that comes with the program uh, now I installed this today in 14th of uh, February 2024. It's the version they had when they launched Moto AI in June last year, 2023. And as you can see, there is a newer version, uh, which launched or updated quite recently. But you will not get that uh, with Moto AI. You have to buy a separate license. And if you buy the separate license, I can't uh, say how it will work with the other components of the templates we installed by Moto AI. So just here you see it, it's, it's really eight months uh, old and that's quite a lot. There's many uh, WordPress versions after that. So just if we look at the, at the change log for VP Bakery, you see that the latest update was in uh, January. So it's less than a month old, 7.4. And here they actually provide for AI uh, themselves into the into the VP Bakery if you buy a uh, uh, license for yourself. But then of course you have to buy a license for for clients also because it only uh, works per site. And here you can see that this is the version that's installed with with the theme actually from May 2023. So this is not good. This is nothing that a serious agency would like to build a business for, for their clients up on. Uh, now let's look at the plugin. And uh, here we have the Pixa Armor uh, plugin. And here we have some strange things because you know every plugin should have the link to the instructions or, or the plugin site itself and to the developer. This doesn't have that. They are both just coming back to the same. They lead nowhere. And that is of course a bad sign. Especially if some, if some client would like to see this, they will not be, they will be a little bit, let's say, confused. And you can also see that this is version 1.10 and there is no uh, possibilities for auto-updates for this. And why is that? Well, the reason is simple, because this is 
actually a WordPress plugin from Code Canyon, which is called Blocker Yet. And this anyone can buy for $19 and uh, install on your site. So this is exactly the same. And what you will see with this is that it has the latest update but in January 2023. So it's more than a year ago they updated this security plugin. And this is of course absolutely nothing to uh, provide services to any serious clients or any serious agency. That's why I was very surprised when I saw serious agencies, local agencies, very famous guys promoting the, this product. I, I just wonder, did I ever see it? Did I ever use it myself? Probably not. Uh, but hype, hype, hype. So we have more than one year old security plugin. And uh, well, anyone understand that this is not the way it should be if you want to create a serious agency for serious clients. So what can you do instead? Well, instead you can the solid VP security, which is the former iThemes security. And this is the pro version you need. It's not cheap, but if you are a member of I Am Bias Club, uh, use our club hosting, you will get access to this since I have the developer license on this. So uh, this is something I strongly recommend. And as you can see, it's kept updated constantly. The other version, uh, a good security software security plugin, is uh, the VPMU Dev Defender Pro. And it's the same here. Actually, you have possibility to get all of VPMU Dev's plug uh, as a member of I Am Bias Club and use our club hosting on 20i. So here you have two versions that are kept updated and that are uh, created for professional use. There might be <coughs> there might be others also. Uh, Wordfence is something that many people like and use I don't like it. It has locked me out too many times from site, especially since I, I travel a lot and use different uh, IP addresses and so on. So no, I, I don't like WordFence, but by all means there are others. I just mentioned or two that we have, uh, that, that members of I am Bias Club have access to on our 20i club hosting. Uh, so what I want to say with this again, uh, don't just buy the hype, buy what's right. And the other thing is the wrong software is a productivity black hole. The time it takes for you to discover that you bought the wrong, that you bought the wrong kind of software for whatever purposes, in this case an, an agency, uh, running an agency for serious clients, the time it takes and the time and energy is spent until you discover that yourself it's really a productivity black hole. But if you listen to my recommendations, my reviews, where I review not only the product, but also the uh, criticized affiliates, uh, you might find something useful and avoid this uh, productivity black hole. Uh, that's what I want to say about this product. By all means, if you're into uh, this kind of and, and can handle it and want to handle it, uh, this kind of outdated software. Uh, please do, but there are better, much better and safer alternatives. So thank you for watching this and uh, see you in the next video. Bye.